Okay, Adam Cox, of course, from Independent State, and you can catch them around. Are y'all playing festival anywhere this week, uh, next uh, week? Uh, we were invited to, uh, to play Sunday, but heading to Nags Head, so... Uh, <laughs> okay, well, yeah, that's a hard choice yep. to make. Huh? Uh, but the, uh, <laughs> the fellow we've been playing bass with, uh, he's been playing bass with us, playing over at Bluegrass Kitchen right now. Okay, they, yeah, they yeah, got I've seen that before. Yeah. Uh, Dread Pirate. Uh, yeah, but yeah. Uh, now, uh, you working on anything new, CD wise, right now? Yeah, got. Yeah, it's going to be a few months. But well, we got to get you on the radio station. That's a, when that gets about done. We'll have Young Musicians Edition. Uh, both of these guys have been on Musicians Edition at WTSQ. We do that on Tuesday nights as well. And Rob McNerlin is the original Beatnik Cowboy. You, you, you in tune, Stan? And Stan the Man is here. We're going to get some great video tonight. We're going to see the best show in town tonight, I know. We have the select few here. We still might have some other people straggling in that said they were playing. So this is the songwriter stage format. A, B, A, B. But if you guys want to help each other out in any way you can, of course, we've got Stan, Stan on the fiddle, too. And so glad to have him here. Thank you, Stan. Hey, man. Stan, you the man. <laughs> Too much pressure. Stan, Stan the man. Been letting your hair grow a little bit there, I see. Yeah, it's an intellectual look at that magazine. That's the Golden Seal intellectual look. They won't cut it. They won't cut it. All right. We're in for a good evening tonight. Okay, we're going to get started with Adam Cox. Just, just one moment. I mean, it's talking, 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 talking. This is called stretching it out. Next week, songwriter stage will have open stage from 7:30 to 9ish, and uh, they've been working on some new tunes, both individually and separately. We'll have Aaron Milner and Jacob McDonald here. As I said, uh, just a few weeks from now, on the 12th of July, from Mountain Stage, Josh and Julie Adams will probably, uh, hello, I haven't confirmed, I'm hoping to get, uh, um, either, either one of a couple of duos to come on with them. Check, check. And Roy Boggs is here, going to take some Touch great on the vocals. Too. Keep an eye on the vocals, Roger. You might, might need a little more on them as opposed all right. to this. Colleen Anderson was the name I was thinking, trying to think of this, a second This ago. seems we to be doing all right. Probably get her Maybe on. this. Okay, cool. With uh, Julie right. in a few weeks as well. So we'll be watching both the newspaper on Thursday mornings and Facebook for everything coming here to Songwriter Stage at Little India's Fireside Listening Room. And here we go with Adam Cox and Rob McNerman. This one's called Right Track. Me and Stan used to uh, send some lines back and forth to each other. We're still trying to do that here, here and there, but uh, this is this is this I one goes. This, right. this has been about four years ago. It's called Right Track. Throttle up my heart, kicked it into high gear. What's a poor boy to do? He went flying off the rails at 90 miles an hour. Want to get back on the right track of you? I want to go down in the bumpy country, curvy river road, so lazy and fine, chase the sunset. Up the ridge, see the sky fade and blend, we melt together. You hit the throttle of my heart, kick it in the high gear. What's a four boy to do? We went flying off the rails at 90 miles an hour. Track with you. 
Step on the lake, live on the edge, walk through some strain, bring back some dreams, grow some love every day, sow some seed, make some hay, we'll taste the fruit. Hey. 
This tune uh, based on a poem by Don West. Uh, we call it Lick Log Hill. Uh, the, the poem's called Mountain Widow. Uh, has a little bit to do with moonshine, it seems like. Working in a little lot of 
friend and can't still Wish it wasn't so risky Over Lake Law Hill Wish I'd see my man come a chomping over the ridge. Wish my man had money and didn't have to be working in the lick lock mares. All this away from me. Home by midnight over the lick log hill. Down the trace by me, lose my man so cold and dead. Revenue red at the lick log, bullets went through his Wish it wasn't so risky Over the Lake Law Hill Wish it wasn't so risky Over the Lake Law Hill Yeah! Lake Law Hill Lake Law Hill You're still a small guy. Gotta have balance. There is asymmetrical balance out there, you know, asymmetrical, asymmetrical, radial balance. I tell my wife though I'm a lot taller and a lot smarter than I look. Well, I'm at a crossroads. I can either do a real sad love song or a love song to a guitar. And that's that's what I've come up with in the key of A. So. You in particular way you guys want to go on this one? Guitar! Guitar? guitar. Hey, there we go. Oh, yeah. My love for guitars has always worked out better than my love for other things. Somebody told me one time, was like, you know what your problem is? You like beer and music a lot more than you like women. I was like, they've been a lot to hurt to me. <laughs> <laughs> so, so this is a love song. This this here is a love song. This is <laughs> this is a 1997 uh, Martin D45 guitar, and nothing against this guitar. I love this guitar, but there's another one out there that I love more. And it happened to be a 1937 Martin D45 that uh, as a little boy I used to watch Johnny Cash play it on his TV show. And I've got it on Johnny Cash album covers. And Marty Stewart owns it now and he's let me play it a couple of times. 
And Marty got it from Hank Williams Jr. No, Marty got it from Johnny Cash, who got it from Hank Williams Jr. And legend has it it belonged to Hank Williams Sr. So that's why I love the guitar. Yeah. And uh, so the first the first time Marty let me play it, I was hoping some DNA or something would come out from under the frets <laughs> uh, from all those people. But but anyway, and so I went home and, and, and wrote this song called That Old Guitar. Stay with me, honey. It's, it's a little jealous sometimes. <laughs> she played a lonesome song. Lost a little varnish, but all in all, she wears a ring. try to send this to Jimmy Buffett though, really, just to see if he could help out our next tour, you know, a little funding. Oh, just, just some funding, you know. Just <laughs> you know, you know he's got it. Just drink whiskey all day and watch like Judge Judy. <laughs> My wife would be good. 
again. <laughs> Good that you set your sights so high. I do. That's my bar. <laughs> drink whiskey all day and drink, watch Judge Judy. That's my bar. <laughs> Talk to my investment specialist. That's what I want in retirement. One of these days you can drink with Judge Judy. <laughs> We're sailing. I'm sailing again, searching for a place.
about a snowstorm the weather channel called Jonas oh yeah but yeah back in the yeah it was uh, 2016 I think uh, you know but it was good because you know the snowstorms have a, a good way of making everybody slow down just a little bit My wife helped me write this song just a little bit because the sky was so blue that day and the snow was so white. You know, like the next day, the snow stopped. We had about uh, 18 inches or so, and then it's just so blue, and then the snow was so white, and we just had to shovel all of it still. But it looked so good. But <coughs> as long as I can shovel two tracks down my driveway, you know, I can get the, both tires, you know, down the middle. I don't have to worry about it too much. But anyway, yeah, you got a Prius. Different story. You're a Prius. Hey, 
yeah, well, that changes. First everything. time he ever gave me directions to this house, he just came here, did this, did this, did this. And I made about halfway up the hill, and I'm like, he forgot I have a Prius. <laughs> Yeah, that, that, that makes it different. Just we need you to pick up truck if you can help it. If you got, oh yeah, or all wheel. Still, uh, anything would help. It's like, the Prius was the wrong everything. All choice. <laughs> yeah, <laughs> in every way. <laughs> so this goes out to the Prius thing. <laughs>
As your voice changed, is your hair still the same? Almost black with long bangs over the shoulder.
Vandress. Travis said, yeah, we all love the banjo. They do. They just To a degree that I can't even put in words. <laughs> Yeah, he's got an electric thing. He's got a core in his. I was playing a show in uh, in uh, Cocoa Village, Florida one time, and the club owner played the electric jug. And he had a, he had a pedal board and everything for it. That's like Briscoe Darling plugged in. It's right there. <laughs> This year, uh, this, this, this next song here, uh, I was listening to this story on NPR, you know, and uh, he talked about how, you know, the pigeon doves, you know, they're, uh, they're monogamous, you know, and so I thought that was pretty cool, that there's not a lot of illegitimate pigeon doves out there. I'm going more smoothie. You know, and they're serious about it, you know. The male pigeon dove, he's, you know, he's very jealous, you know. If somebody's messing around with his lady dove, you know, he gets, he gets really pissed off. And, you know, he'll fly, like, you know, forever, you know, to make sure, you know, he's the dude, you know, like, for his gal. And so I think that's pretty cool. And so anyhow, this one goes out to the pigeon dove, but it's called Straight as a Crow. So anyway, I don't want to confuse anybody, but uh, this is for the pigeon dog, but it's entitled Straight as a Crow. In the skyway, be with you, babe. Here I come. I will find the right direction. A GPS built in my mind. I fly straight as a crow to my little pigeon dove and the branches I find. It. And we'll go to a place. Where we can build a nest and we'll only have life to bear. I will bring sweet flowers to you. All day long, your favorite kind. There will be in our love nest, you and me in the sun. I fly straight as crow to my little pigeon dove, and the branches I fly there. And we'll fly to a place where we can build a nest and we'll only have. And I fly straight as a crow to my little pigeon dove in the branches I find there. And we'll fly to a place where we can build a nest And we'll only have life to bear And we'll only have life to bear And we'll only have life to bear Yeah! 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 Right, Chandra. <laughs> well, I look 
for trouble since the day I was born. In a crowd of people, I'm always alone. I never back down, I just keep pressing on. If you will hold my coat, I'll cast the first stone. It seems I've always been under the thumb. Raise looking up the barrel of a gun. I cry for your laughter and I kill for your fun. I'll die in my tracks, but I'll never Two more in each of them? Sure. Is that cool? All right. Adam. It's a tune uh, I wrote based on another poem by Don West. Um, and, you know, he didn't rhyme a lot of his poems, so it made it a little difficult, but um, I kind of picked it apart and put it all back together and, and, and shortened it down a little bit to put it into this song, and, and it, and it, it kind of worked on me for about a month, you know. It took me about a month to come up with the song, just because I kept reading the poem and taking stuff out and putting stuff back in, and uh, it's, uh, this one's called Mountain Boy, and it begs the question, what will you do for your heels, Mountain Boy? Child and patched over all you mountain boy. These hills of yours are fragrant forests and silver rivers with heritage. What will you do for hills, mountain boy? Oh, father boy. Songs, baby, life, see you know how. 
Sing me songs, live me life, see what you know how. Rise up, young hill man. Gaze into blue space, turn your thoughts free. What will you do for your hills, mountain boy? Oh, far more, rise up, sing songs, live your life, see. Of the soil, your father's blood that has made it rich. This sweat is called fruit to grow. As you follow the plow, you grind the soil and you dig and plant. And watch the corn grow.
something to do as a finale. Okay. Okay. Remind you all that uh, Songwriter Stage is every Thursday from 9 o'clock till approximately 10, 10, 15. We feature seasoned singer-songwriters and uh, they are playing for your gratuities and your generosity. The tip jar is right over here and we appreciate y'all coming out to Little India. Keep local live music alive and original music. Right here's a place to find it. Don't be afraid to see, y'all. Don't be afraid to see. I gotta say, cuz stuff going on out there, and you know, people seeing it, stuff, and you know, we can't be afraid to see it. Cause it's there, so we might as well. Cracking it all up, 
Don't want it in my cup What's wrong with the great big ball of fire in the sky? When will we all wake up and get off our ass and stand up? Are we gonna take it man down? Who's gonna save this West Virginia if it ain't you and me? Got too many irons in the fire, you see. They're all burning out, don't let the world blind you now. Come on, y'all, don't be afraid to see. Stop spinning your wheels. Stop dragging your feet. Stop kicking. Can down the road. None can burn them hotter. None can burn them meaner. Great big fireballs always gonna flow. Who's gonna save this West Virginia if it ain't you and me? Got too many eyes in the fire. You see, they're all burning out. Don't let the wall blind you now. Come on, y'all, don't be afraid to see. They're all burning out, don't let the world blind you now. Come on, y'all don't be afraid to see. Who's gonna say it's West Virginia if it ain't you and me? Got too many eyes in the fire, you see. They're all burning out, don't let the world blind you now. Come on, y'all don't be afraid to see. Don't be afraid out there. Yeah. All right. <laughs> Adam, I hear a lot new on this. There's some newbies going on out there. I will say that. <laughs> I was waiting for somebody to sing for us. That's the first time I heard you do that. So, so we're going to learn a songwriting lesson right here because we're going to play pretty much the same song with different words now. All right. It's an entirely different song. Well, are you on the rock and roll, brother? Are you on the rock and roll? Are you standing on the rock? You should name on the road. Are you on the rock and roll? It's a mighty, mighty long way to glory, but you're bound to go. No matter the lies and the pain of the day, if you're on the rock and roll, are you on the rock and roll, oh brother? Are you on the rock? Are you standing on the rock? Is your name on the road? Are you on the rock and roll?
Bow down to her on Sunday, salute her when her birthday comes. Bow down to her on Sunday, and salute her when her birthday comes. But I love him by all the trumpet, and the fifth verse by her drum. Trumpet and for Christmas by her a drum. All right, thank you all for coming out to Songwriter Stage here at Little India's Fireside. Appreciate it very much. How about a hand for Adam Cox and Rob McNerlin. And on the fiddle accompanying them both stand the man, Bumgardner. If you still got a little bit left, don't forget it's not too late to put a little more in that tip jar for these fine musicians. And they're not bad gentlemen either. So thank you all for coming out. Next week, open stage at 7.30, sign up at 7 o'clock or on Facebook. Or you can text me at 304-610-5583. Our featured songwriters next week will be Aaron Milner and Jacob McDonald at 9 o'clock. And we thank you all for coming out and being generous. Support local live music and thanks to Little India and Atkinson Pollock, PLLC, for helping us out too.